So before I start this video, I just thought I'd tell you that I'm not going to mention any real names just because, like, I don't want, like, you random creepers out there to, like, stalk my friends and kill them. Unless you want to. Go That's for clear. it. I'm going to tell you my story. Way back on last Friday, I was with my two friends, John and Jacob. Well, that's not the real names, but I'm going to have to use these names, as I said like 30, 10 seconds ago. So, me and John and Jacob, we all had a sleepover. We had fun, we chilled, had a good time. When, when By the time I woke up, well, it was like 3 in the afternoon, because we're all lazy. John goes, I have to leave. And we're all like, what? Why are you leaving? And he's like, well, it's, it's just, just because. My mom called me. And we're like, all right, John, leave then. So John leaves. John is walking home. I've, yeah, he walked home. I don't know. So he walks home. So now it's just me and Jacob. So me and Jacob are chilling out, chilling like villains. So then we got bored. So then we decided, let's go catch a movie. So me and Jacob get to the movies, and we decide, let's go watch This Is The End. FYI, it was a really funny movie. I really re recommend it. They are not paying me to say this. Unless they want to send me, like, free stuff. Like, that'd be awesome. Some car just screeched outside. I hope they're not dead. But, yeah. So maybe, like, they sent me, like, Seth Rogen. Or, like, Jonah Hill. Like, one of the actors just to chill with me. <laughs> I would recommend their movie. But that's not gonna happen. So, it, it was just, like, a really good movie. And, so, once me and Jacob get there, three minutes before the movie starts... Freaking three minutes! Jacob mom, Jacob's mom freaking calls him and goes, Hey honey, it's time to come home. And he's like, But mom, I'm freaking at the movies. The movie's about to start. He's like, oh, I don't care. Come on home. Mom! Yeah? Come on, let me watch the movie. Sorry son, time to come home. <laughs> Fine! So, Jacob leaves. I'm all alone at the movies. I am sitting in the theater, all freaking alone. And like, I'm just imagining the people around me are like, huh, look at that kid, it's all freaking alone. Ha <laughs> losers. So, halfway through the movie, I was like, I gotta go pay. I go into the bathroom, I push open the first stall, and there's a kid sitting on the toilet, eating a tuna sandwich from Subway. I was like, what you doing? I didn't even know this kid. What he does, first thing he does. Oh, hey. And I was like, do not touch me. That is so unsanitary. I don't even know you. Huh? Shook his hand. So, he gets out of the stall, brushes off all the crap on his, like, Jeans, not literally crap, but it was like food from the sandwich. Ew. Oh, God, I'm such a sick mind. So, me and let's call him Kyle. Me and Kyle walk out of the movie theater. And we get in a conversation. I don't remember what we were talking about. It was probably something stupid. See, because, like, I just get distracted so easily. I don't even... Sorry, I just get distracted easily, like I said. So we were talking about something stupid, and we decided let's go back into the movie. Turns out he was already in the movie, so me and Kyle were sitting, we decided let's sit together. We're talking, we're watching This Is The End, we're having fun, and then, like, he goes, bro, let's call up some girls. I'm like, yo, you finna be right, little, because the gangsters up in here. So, he calls up to these two girls to save them from, like, her being cold. A freaking female dog. You'll ex you'll like know why later in the story. We're gonna protect their names and call them Brittany One and Brittany Two. So I already had a crush on Brittany One. This guy Kyle has a crush on Brittany Two. So they get into the movie and I'm sitting right next to Brittany One. He's sitting right next to Brittany Two. So I'm sitting on with Brittany One and my hands on her leg. Like, mm -hmm. So my hands on her leg, and then I whisper in her ear. I say, "Do you want to go out?" Because I already liked her, and she says, "I'll tell you after the movie." <laughs> it wasn't 
like that. It was more adorable, not like <laughs> so. Yeah, like she goes, I'll tell you after the movie. I'm like, that's not fair. Just tell me now. Now I'm gonna be all confused the rest of the movie. And she's like, I'll just tell you after the movie. I'm like, fine. So, a couple minutes go by. I realize, hey, she's probably just gonna say no. So me and Kyle decide, let's leave. So we leave the movie, and what do we do? What do we do? We go to, no, I lost track. Me and Kyle go to KFC. We get some food, and we walk back to the movies. And then I say, you know what, Kyle? I think I'm gonna leave. And he says, all right, see you later. Shake hands. I look outside. It is pouring rain so bad. And I live like 20 minutes away from the movies, and I rode my freaking skateboard. The water was literally like this much on the ground on my freaking shoe. You can't see probably, but I'm pointing at my foot. So I walk back in. I'm like, yeah, Kyle, I think I'm going to stay here. It's raining pretty bad. He goes, I understand where you're going with this. I was like, okay. So then later... Me and Kyle are just walking around, we're going, like, we're messing with people, getting in trouble, you know, YOLO swag, for life forever, and stuff. So, we see Brittany number two, and he goes, what's up, Brittany number two? And he kisses her on the head, and I'm just like, Phew. So, I go, Brittany number two, where's Brittany number one? And she goes, Brittany number one is behind the movie theater. Wink. And I'm like, hmm, I don't know what that means, but okay. So I walk behind the freaking movie theater, and I turn around, and there is John. John from the beginning of the story, the one who had to leave, and says that his mom freaking called him, making out with her. Like, he's all... And the second I turn the corner, he tries to play it off. He goes, and looks at his phone, and he's just like... I'm like, I know you're not on your phone. And I look at Brittany number one, and I'm like, what the heck? You female dog, what are you doing? You're making out with him, even though I just asked you out? And she goes, well, I mean, it's not like a, I don't know, I'm sorry. And I'm like, mm-mm, no forgivesies. So I start to walk away with Kyle. I'm like, Kyle, we're out of here. And he's like, finish, straight. So me and Kyle are walking away. And then John runs up to me and goes, dude, listen, I'm really sorry. I don't know why I did that. I didn't know you liked it that much. And I was like, we're cool. We're cool. So he's like, okay, good. So me, John, and Kyle, we're walking around, and we find a shopping cart. And the first thing that popped into my mind is the beginning of that one Jackass movie. There's a flying kid. I don't know. For face. It's the beginning of the Jackass movie where they're all in the cart riding down the hill. And I'm like, hmm. So I go, John, get in the cart. And he goes, why am I getting the freaking cart? He's like, okay, okay, okay. So he steps into the cart, sits down. And he's like, what now? And, go, and Kyle goes, I have an idea. So we take him to Walgreens. And we go into Walgreens. Doo -doo. Just the noise the freaking door makes when you go to Walgreens, our Walgreens. So it's like, doo -doo. and we get in. And we go up to the cash register. And we're all like, hi, we'd like to buy this, please. Even though, like, John's sitting in there, she's like, and the guy goes, get out of my freaking store. And we're like, we just want to purchase this item, please. And then he steps out, the ca like, over the counter, and he's like this huge buff dude. Like, he's like, Pfft. Like, not like me, because, you know, Poop. And he's like, Pfft. And me and Kyle freak out. We're like, oh, snap, man, oh, snap. And me and Kyle just ditch. John couldn't get out of the cart. He's pants were stuck on the cart so he's trying to get up and he's like eh, eh, eh. and the guy looks at him he finally gets out and by this time me and Kyle are like halfway to like our destination which was the movie theater we're gonna go hide in the bathroom no homo so we're hiding in the bathroom and then we look outside and we see John running and he gets there he's like <laughs> and we're like John what happened man he's like We're like, John, use your words. And he's like, he said he's going to get his 13-year-old brother to come beat me up. FYI, we're all 13. All me, Kyle, and John, we're all 13. So the cash register person threatens John 
to bring his 13 year old brother to come beat the crap out of him. And I'm like, what? That's a threat, son. So I'm like, that's so wrong to do. Why would he even do that? That's, you're threatening a child. So I end up sleeping over the kid John's house. Because, like, we're cool. And while I'm sleeping over his house, I'm getting texts. I got 30 texts from Brittany number one saying, Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. And I'm just like, ignore. Boom. Spike the phone. I didn't do that. I left my phone. So, then later, me and John were playing PS3. And I feel like my butt vibrate. And I'm like, mmm. I turn around, pull out my phone, I'm like, ugh, oh, it's Brittany number one. He goes, don't answer. So I don't answer. Five calls later, one after the freaking other, I answer. I'm like, what? And she's like, I'm so sorry. You know what? I, what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. So I'll give you another chance. And I'm like, what? You'll give me another chance? I asked you out, and you immediately turned to the next guy and was like, I'm with him. And she's like, it's okay, I'll give you another chance though. And I'm like, I should be giving you another chance. But you know what? I don't even like you like that anymore. And she goes, oh, thank God. I didn't like you any at all anyways. And I'm like, <sighs> I didn't actually cry, but I was pretty upset. I was like, so you led me on? Screw you! So she let me on and everything, right? But, here's the interesting part of the story. Rewind. I never knew that kid's name. Kyle, I know him now. But I never knew his name. That whole night, all the crap we've been through, we were together for like, eight hours, just hanging out. And I never knew his name. I found out his name later though. Cause I got his number. I was like, yo bro. He's like, hey man, what's up? We need to hang out. I'm like, yeah, man, you're gonna be right. Besides, wait, what's your name? He goes, my name is Kyle. Not his real name. And I'm like, cool. My name is Savvy. Real name. I don't know why. <laughs> Joke's on you guys. It's not even on her phone. <laughs> hey, guys, so I hope you liked my video. Um, that is a true story. And to that girl, screw you in the face. But other than that, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share to all your friends. Make sure to comment. No hate. Hashtag no hate. I just put too much emphasis on the H. Maybe I like some. <laughs> okay, thank you.